let's go. What brought you to film first? What was your first kind of a, you know, interaction with film? Um, How did you get introduced to film? Well, I was born in California, so I was transferred back to Virginia when I was 15. But um, I remember I was living in Colton at the time, which is uh, in San Bernardino County, and went to the movie theater when I was really young. Um, cause I could, that's when you could still ride your bikes to the theater and it was still kind of safe. You know, everything has kind of changed over time. But um, I was watching Aladdin. And that's what you do when you're a kid. You go to a movie and you have to wa you know, watch cartoons. But um, I was really lost and alone. And um, just that something grabbed me that day in the theater where I just knew like I had to do it and I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know, it just felt like this overwhelming, just knowing like this is what I have to do with my life so I can help, you know, other kids like me that are feeling lost and alone. And if I could, you know, have some kind of positive message in my life and it was coming from an animation at the time, then, you know, what can I do as a filmmaker to help others that are struggling like I was? But it, it just like, I don't know, it just like grabbed me from a very young age. Like how, how early? Like eight. Wow, okay. Yeah. Did you enjoy watching movies? Did you enjoy, did you watch any behind the scenes, uh, like I on DVDs or anything like that? Not till I was older, like 18, 19, but um, I enjoyed watching like the X-Files growing up and I watched a lot of Mickey Mouse Club. That was kind of like my jam, um, a Disney, Disney nerd. And then, um, but I just liked sci-fi from a very young age and started writing, you know, did a traditional, like I did theater in high school, trying to figure out like, okay, what is acting it? Acting too, like so. Yeah, 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 I wrote plays. I've been in a little bit of acting, some modeling, but it wasn't until I was 22 when my department manager, uh, Darlene Malat, sat me down and she's like, okay, April, you keep talking about it all the time. Why aren't you doing it? And I'm, I'm like this kid. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know where to start. I just don't know. She's like, well, here's a camera. Go shoot something and come back and show me. And this is at a bank. Like pe people at banks, you know, it's, it's the privacy law. I got a lot of things going on. And she just let me build this like corporate video. I had no idea what I was doing, but it's all it took was one person to believe in me because I didn't have the support system to let me, you know, grow. And she was the first one that gave me that opportunity. Hmm. It was same for me. Just all it takes is a one person. Yeah. And sometimes it's interesting how like the thing that is it for us is like right in front of you and y it's there the whole time and you can't see it. Like I've, I've been talking about wanting to make a movie and films and everything. Yeah. And love watching movies, going to the movie theaters. Speaking of that, what a strange experience in the last 12, 14 months not being able to go to movie theaters, I right? miss the movie theater. I was just telling my friend the day, I can't wait for them to open because I just want to sit there with my popcorn and just just not think and enjoy the experience. Like why our industry works so hard to create this magic, you know what I mean? Just support our fellow filmmakers. So I'm excited that they're starting to open up again.